Hello and welcome. My name is Bartos and this is tutorial how to run GNS3 from the cloud. So what this actually means run GNS3 from the cloud? Well, imagine you work on the big topology, run many routers, IOE devices, many virtual machines, your PC is getting slow and slower as it runs so big topology. Let's have a look how it works. So we have GNS3 on the home PC. It can be run with Windows, Mac or Linux. As default configuration GNS3 is running from the same local PC, so both graphic user interface and server are on the same PC. But there is a way to separate server from the graphic user interface. To do that we need to have remote server with running uh, just GNS3 server. For purpose of this tutorial I will set up Ubuntu server with Amazon EC2. Graphic user interface will be our front end topology view where we can build topology and configure our devices. But in reality all devices running in Genius 3 will be running not from our PC but on the remote server. First we need to go to aws.amazon.com, click sign in to the console at the right top corner and if you don't have an account with Amazon you can choose option I am a new user or if you have account I am a returning user and we click sign in and after that we should be redirected to Amazon Web Services console. Go to EC virtual servers in the cloud and now if you click uh, pricing at the right side you can find out some more information regarding prices and free tier instances. You can use free tier limited to one CPU and one gigabyte of RAM or you can just get better server. In my case I will get M3 la uh, X large with four CPUs. Uh, 15 gig of RAM to uh, SSD hard drives uh, where this will cost me uh, 0.315 dollar per uh, hour. Now let's go back to EC dashboard and to run our server choose location at the top right uh, side. Uh, in my case it's uh, EU Frankfurt. Uh, the best is to choose the closest location to you and to create the instance you have to click uh, launch instance. Now if you want to run a free tier you can just click this one click select 64 bit or if you want a better server you click community Ubuntu 64 bit let's type 14.04 scroll down actually trusty it's at the very top we can select this one and I would like to choose M3 X large this one here then click review and launch and now we have to click launch uh, and we need to select a, a keeper we need to set up one create new keeper let's call it genus 3 download keeper Make sure you will not lose this because we will need this keeper to connect to our instance. Click launch instance and view instances seconds to run the instance. Ok our instance is running we need to do a few security changes go to security group at the right click launch and I have to change some settings for inbound connection click edit and well, I usually do all traffic, so all traffic should be allowed to my machine. Go back to instances, and now we will we want to connect to our uh, machine. The public IP address is right here. So to do that, right click, connect, and we will choose option connect using PuTTY. Now we will need. Putty. To get the putty, go to the website www.putty.org and click here and download putty. And we will also need putty again to convert our key to connect to uh, our instance uh, on Amazon EC2. 
So I have all of us in my folder. What you need to do is you need to go to Putty again, run it, load the file, and we will need genus free and choose all files, choose our genus free.pem or the file you downloaded. Successfully imported, great. Now choose, actually, it's all set like we need, and click save uh, private key. And then we have to. Am I sure they want to save the key? Yes. And uh, let's choose the same destination, genus free. Let's call it genus free party. Save. Okay, let's close, go to Putty, run Putty, okay, go to connection and go to SSH, authentication, click browse and choose our Genus Free Putty PPK. Let's go to session and let's go get the IP address of our instance, which is this one here. Copy. Okay, let's go to authentication. Make sure the file genus party is there. Go to session. We have the IP address, so we have to paste it. Go Ubuntu at IP address and click open. I feel that just copy open, and now we should be connected straight to our uh, genus three server on Amazon EC2. Okay, let's install Genius 3 server. So we need to do update first and install some dependencies. Download Genius 3, unzip. Unzip Dynamics and go to the Dynamics folder, create a build folder, go to build folder, then we use command C make, make, and sudo setcap command, and we have to unzip the server, install the server, and we running the server. So server is running. Now we can go to the web browser and type the IP address of our server uh, with port 8000 and if you can see this page it means everything works perfectly fine. Now go to upload image, choose file and let's choose uh, let's say 7200 open, choose iOS and upload. Okay, file is uploaded and this is the, the uh, destination of our file. And uh, now we have to go to Genus 3. Okay, so we have Genus 3 running at the left top corner, right corner is my CPU utilization, uh, bottom right is our cloud uh, Ubuntu uh, server for CPUs and 15GB of RAM, and bottom left is our Genus 3 Ubuntu server running. Now we need to go to Edit, Preferences, Server, remote server and we need to add the server add apply okay now we have to add uh, router so we need to get the uh, uploaded file and destination copy go to edit preferences dynamips you have to untick the box use the local server and then you have to go to iOS routers click new remote server next paste next choose the server 2200 change the name next 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 let's get idle pc you can see on the server it start getting uh, values and we have the value here let's click ok finish apply ok Let's add routers. Uh, 
and watch what happens with the CPU on the local and the server when I start. You can add another devices and you can see nothing is going on on our uh, local PC. So this is how to run Genius Free in the cloud. I hope you enjoyed the video and I would like to thank you for viewing.